So, my 14 years old LG washing machine has finally given up on us. And we bought a new Samsung 8.5 kilo front loader washing machine. And of course, the technology nerd in me went for the model that integrates with Samsung SmartThings smart home system. Hi everyone, welcome to another Sky Perspective video. This is my Samsung SmartThings hub and I currently have about 20 lightings and switches connected to this hub. This is the first time I'm connecting a washing machine to the Samsung SmartThings hub. In this video, I'll show you if it's worth getting a Samsung washing machine that integrates with the SmartThings app. By the way, timestamps are in the description down below if you want to skip through the chapters. Just to be specific, this is my Samsung washing machine model. It's a 8.5 kilo front loader. We have the Wi-Fi or SmartThings app setup button on the right, followed by the typical washing machine water temperature, rinse cycle and spin speed settings. Like all Samsung smartphones and tablet devices, the user interface of this Samsung washing machine is really intuitive. These three primary settings are also available on the Samsung SmartThings app, which I'll show later. And then, there is the main mode dial, or wash cycle dial, where there are different presets according to the type of laundry to wash. There are about 20 of them. Yes, 20. And all these are available for us to select on the SmartThings app too. Up next, I'm going to show you how easy it is to connect the Samsung washing machine to the Samsung SmartThings hub and my home Wi-Fi. Press and hold on the mobile Wi-Fi button on the washing machine. The AP and a Wi-Fi icon will be displayed on the washing machine. Now go to the SmartThings app on the mobile phone. Click on the plus sign to add a device. Pick a device and find the washer icon. And choose Samsung brand washer. After that, follow the prompt. The SmartThings app is now trying to connect to the washing machine. And then we need to pick the Wi-Fi that we want the washing machine to use. So I picked my home Wi-Fi. The app uses the Wi-Fi password settings that is already configured on my phone to send to the washer. So I don't need to key in the password again. At first, we get this cannot connect try again prompt, but just wait. And here we go. All set up and we can control the washing machine from the SmartThings app now. The whole process took about a couple of minutes. So, from the app, the basic three settings of the washing machine are here. Water temperature, rinse cycle and spin speed. After that, we just need to send the settings to the washer and press the start button on the washing machine. And as for the preset wash cycles, they are all here. On the app, we can actually see which cycle is more energy efficient. So take for example, we want to wash denim jeans we select the denim mode and then just send the settings to the washing machine. Apart from the standard 20 different wash cycles, in the SmartThings app, 
there is this extra feature called laundry recipe. For example, this time we are going to wash my office shirt together with some t-shirts and my jeans. This laundry recipe, wait, hang on. We still need to choose the color and how dirty the laundry is. This laundry recipe will then find us the best optimum wash cycle and the basic settings configuration. It's pretty nifty. And on the app, there is this My Favorite menu. It allows us to save the favorite wash cycle that we frequently use. Customize a few settings like I want to rinse three times. And then save this custom wash cycle as a favorite. Next time, we can just press Send to Washer and start the wash instead of going through all the settings again. When the washing machine is washing, the app will go into a monitoring mode where the majority of the settings are disabled. It will show how long more to go before the washing is done. What we find really useful is the finish time. So we kind of know when we need to take out the laundry. And when the washing is done, the app will send us a notification and it will stay there on our notification shade. Now, this is the best part. If we are out and about when we get this wash complete notification and we are delayed coming home, we can remotely over the app ask the washing machine to do another rinse to prevent the laundry from smelling. I've never tried this before, but it's kind of good that the feature is there. The other thing I like is we can see how much electricity and energy consumption the washing machine has consumed over the last few days, weeks, and months. It's not a necessary feature, but it's something nice to have. In fact, one could argue that this whole SmartThings app integration from the washing machine is not necessary at all. We don't really need an app to do our laundry. I'd like to know what you think. Do you think the additional features that we get from connecting Samsung washing machine to the Samsung SmartThings app is worth it? Would you pay extra for these features? Let me know in the comments down below. For my case, the price is about the same with or without this integration feature. So I actually went for it. Hope you like this video and if you do, don't forget to click the like button below and subscribe for more feature videos like this. You take care and look after yourself. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!